John Mew has always been ahead of his time and he first started to develop his revolutionary method of guiding facial growth as far back as 1965. In 1986, he was first trying to promote his treatment method of orthotropic bioblock treatment. He created this short film about 15-year-old Lisa Mann at his clinic in Purley, London. Oh, hello, Lisa. Yeah. Come and take a seat. Afternoon, Mrs. Mann. Perhaps you'd like to take a seat there. Let's see. Let's get this right. Go ahead. Let's take your head back a little bit. OK? Mm -hmm. oh, super. Let's have a look now, Lisa. Can we? John made this short film to promote orthotropics. You bite your teeth together. But as social media didn't exist at the time, there weren't a lot of people who could have access to this information. We should have drawn forward a little bit. But now let it go back again. A bit further back. Lisa, initially presented to the clinic with a severe overbite, and her face, as we can see, was starting to grow in the wrong direction. Well, I'd be interested to know why was it you came for treatment, actually? because I felt that recently Lisa's lower jaw was receding more and that her upper jaw seemed to be more prominent, causing her front lip to stick out more than necessary. Yes, I think in actual fact it's probably been, her chin's probably been as far back as that all the time and it's just that it's become more obvious now because she's getting older. But how much do you hope that this can be improved? Well, I hope that uh, her jawline would look more normal and that uh, cosmetically it will improve the um, outline of her face and her jaw. So that in effect we're talking about a facial improvement as much as we are a dental improvement. Yes, basically yeah. I think so. In those days, patients that presented with an overbite as severe as Lisa's would have previously only had one treatment option, jaw surgery. This is a plastic model of a forward slide sagittal split osteotomy. The technique is to expose the bone following which a cut is made through the outer side and the vertical portion is then split in half like this so that the jaw itself can be slid forward to the correct position. It is then wired in that position and allowed to heal. At this point, John had already been working upon and developing his treatment method of Bioblock for almost 12 years, and he was already getting amazing results. Unfortunately, mainstream orthodontists were not interested in this treatment method. This was mainly due to the high number of face-to-face -face treatment hours required, resulting in higher costs and reduced profit margins when compared to conventional orthodontics. In an attempt to increase awareness into the use of Bioblock as an alternative option to surgery, John uses this short film to demonstrate how the treatment works. Right, Lisa, this is your first brace, the one to increase the size of your top jaw. I'm going to try it in your mouth now. Just open wide, can you? I'll put it in very gently. Now, you're going to have to open this yourself, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. But first I'll show you how to take it in and out. Can you hold this mirror yourself for a moment? I'm just going to show you how to take it out and put it back in again. You put one finger up on each side on these two wires, not on the front one, because that will bend, and you pull it down like that. It's quite tight, and you'll need to pull down quite hard for it to come out. Having taken it out, you put it back by putting the one wire round in front of your teeth like that, see? Then you slide your thumbs up on each side and go once, twice, and three times. Make absolutely sure you've got it right up there. OK? Fine. I'll hold the mirror. Now you try that yourself. That's right. Now put the one wire in front of your teeth. That's right. That's it. Twice, three times. Well done. That's fine. This is your stage three appliance, Lisa. Um, there are two flanges here, one on each side, which are designed to hold your jaw up and forwards, so that it will eventually grow upwards and forwards. And it's intended that it'll be sore if you drop your jaw down. So I want you to be careful when I'm putting it in that you don't let your jaw drop down while I'm doing it. I'll gently put it in now. Can you open wide? 
There we are. Now put your jaw forward, can you? That's right. Now I'm going to push it up firmly here, each side. Fine. You just keep your jaw together. That feels all right as it is at the moment, does it? Not pressing on the gum at all down there. No. Now, if you very gently drop your jaw down without pushing, no, without pushing forward, just very gently drop down. Is that touching on the gum now? Uh. Yes, bite together again. But if you push right forward, that's it, you can free. Okay, fine. Right forward and back down again. Ready? Can you try counting to ten? No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's very good indeed. Well done. This is your stage one, the small brace again. And I want you to wear this for eating and special occasions when you don't feel you can wear the big brace. And I'll try your other one in. Now, this one, although it's a bit of a mouthful, I want you to wear as much as you possibly can because it works on your bottom jaw and your top jaw together. And let's just put it in your mouth there, fine. Push your jaw forward. That's right. Squeeze up together. And close up into that now. Good. It's now five and a half months since treatment was started. And for the first two months of that period, she was wearing a stage one appliance and a stage three permanent appliance to widen her upper arch, while at the same time holding the lower jaw forward. About Two months ago, we fitted a smaller appliance, which she is now wearing, and this is of a more open construction and enables her to talk quite easily. Say, um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And you haven't had any difficulty with speaking with that one? No, I haven't. Good. And perhaps you can open wide. That's right. And if I take it out, you can see that the appliance itself is of a, an open construction and makes full-time wear quite simple, apart from eating, of course. Now, during this period, we have been monitoring the forward movement of her jaw by means of a caliper, and if I measure this now, it's now down to just over four millimeters when it was originally almost 14. As you can clearly see from the x-rays, after only five months of treatment, Lisa's teeth are far more aligned and she presents with considerable forward growth, bringing her chin forwards, resulting in significant improvements to her profile picture. As John was convinced the treatment would work, he set up an in-the-time revolutionary way to let Lisa go back to the future to reassure herself she needn't worry about the braces. Children are often concerned about orthodontic treatment they worry whether the appliances would be uncomfortable or possibly even painful. And they worry whether it may affect their social life at school and difficulties with eating. And so we've asked Lisa whether she would be prepared to talk to herself some five months ago and see if she can explain this and reassure herself. Was it as bad as you thought it would be? I thought the treatment would be a lot worse and a lot more complicated. What was the worst part of the treatment? Um, just when I had the brace, my mouth was really sore for about 10 days and after it had been adjusted, my teeth ached for a while. Do you think it has made much difference to the shape of your face? Um, it's made my face a lot so longer and thinner and my lips a lot thinner. Before, I was getting a double chin from my jaw receding. What did your friends at school say? They were all really sympathetic and they didn't want to be in the same situation. Did it take long to learn to eat? It's pretty easy to learn to eat. Were there some things you couldn't do because of the braces? Um, when I was running, I used to get really dizzy because of the brace. I couldn't open my mouth to breathe properly and swimming was sometimes difficult. Would you have it done again now that you know what it's like? Um, yes. Do you feel different about yourself now? Um, yeah, well, I feel a lot more confident. Even though the use of Bioblock has created significant changes to Lisa's face without the need for any surgical intervention, John's method of treatment is still disregarded by many of his peers working in conventional orthodontics. After 18 months, Lisa is back again, and we can see that both the practice and Lisa's face 
have undergone an impressive transformation. Happy Loki. That's fine. How's it been going since I saw you last time? You're very well. Good. Now, the time you came last, I handed some more of that plastic from the bottle to keep your mouth shut. And that's not been uncomfortable. No, it's been all right, except in the beginning, little in the morning, so it used to be sore. Good. But it's keeping your mouth shut? Yes. Fine. Perhaps you'd like to pop it in your mouth again with you. Right, Lisa, I wonder if you can very gently drop your jaw down a little bit just to see how far it goes when it touches. Is that something there again? Is it back together again? again? After 18 months, Lisa moved far away in the country, but we are, of course, very curious to know what she might look like now.